A hundred years ago, the amount of trade and uh, flow of people and goods that took place at the border was very limited. Over the last 100 years and even, even more over the last 20 years, those trade flows have grown exponentially. Border crossings have become key arteries for the national economy. Today, the produce that is sold in uh, Minnesota stores in the winter is very likely coming to the United States through the Texas border or through, through the Arizona border or through the California border. So the price that somebody in Minnesota pays for, for a, a pound of tomato is going to reflect the cost of bringing that good across the border. Over the last 10 years, what we saw was a, a trend for uh, manufacturing to go overseas to China, particularly. And uh, during that time period, uh, the price of transportation, the, the cost of fuel has increased. A lot of the manufacturing that has gone away uh, to China or to, to other places around the world is coming back to, region, to border regions like, uh, like Ciudad Juarez and El Paso. At the same time, the concerns about national security and border security at the border have not gone away. And they have, in fact, become a lot more important now than they were, to, they were before. When you need to maintain the cost of goods as low as possible while maintaining the security of the border, it is very important to look at uh, technology solutions that are going to help you maintain that cost low, make the trade as efficient as possible. All the research that we're conducting at ETI on the border is basically aimed at improving, improving the economic competitiveness of the state and, uh, and the U.S. and North America. We want to make sure that we have the least cost possible to produce and trade goods in this region so that we can create the jobs and, uh, and export the goods to other places in the world. What we would like to see is uh, a border where, uh, where trade flows are seamless, where uh, the physical border is not necessarily the point where inspections are conducted. A border where security concerns are taken care of using technology that is uh, non-intrusive and that allows for cargo to cross uh, unimpededly across the border. If we ideally see that future where the, borders, the border is efficient and seamless, we need to be thinking about those, uh, the application of technology to achieve those things.